yet a fugitive Australian journalist, Shane Young from the website kangarooecourtofaustralia.com. Now, Governor-General David Hurley is friends with National Anti-Corruption Commission Commissioner Paul Brereton, and that creates an issue given there's corruption allegations against David Hurley. And I'll get to that in a minute, but the purpose of this video is to show you a number of pictures because they say a picture is worth a thousand words, and you're going to see pictures of David Hurley and Paul Brereton and also Catherine Campbell, and that's how I come across this. I was investigating Catherine Campbell and her relationship with Paul Brereton because uh, Catherine Campbell's one of the robo-debt fraudsters and she's been exposed for being corrupt. And yesterday she resigned from her position uh, as an AUKUS advisor on $900,000 a year. And the reason she resigned was because of the findings of the Robo-Debt Royal Commission. And so I did an article on my website, Kangaroo Court of Australia, in relation to Catherine Campbell, her relationship with Paul Burren. But in investigating that, we've come across uh, David Hurley and his relationship with Paul Burton and also Catherine Campbell. So they're basically three amigos. Anyhow, firstly, just quickly on the corruption allegations against uh, David Hurley that relate to an $18 million fraud scheme. And I'll read out what I wrote on my website in August 2022 in an article titled GG David Hurley had more meetings in 2021-2022 with the CEO of the fraudulent $18 million charity than Scott Morrison. And in that article, I say, Scott Morrison was exposed on Thursday, the 7th of April, 2022, as being the key decision maker in collusion with the Governor General, David Hurley, for giving $18 million of taxpayers' money to a charity, the Australian Future Leaders Foundation, that doesn't exist on paper. The Australian Futures Leaders Foundation is reported to have no office, website or staff apart from three directors. Now, what's important there is that people are still following up on that issue. They're still reporting on it and investigating, uh, filing freedom of information uh, applications to get further details. And uh, highly likely it's been referred to the National Anti-Corruption Commission, which is uh, run by Paul Burren. He's the commissioner. So let's have a look at some of the photos I've found and the story they tell. Now, the first photo was Paul Brereton, Catherine Campbell, and John Brennan, who was uh, Catherine Campbell's husband. And as you can see in the title there, it's a general meeting, formal dinner from the 29th of October, 2022, so not even a year ago, at the Orange X Services Club. And in that photo, you can see Paul Brereton in the middle, uh, third from the left, and third from the right is Catherine Campbell, a robo-debt fraudster, and second from the right is her husband, John Brennan. Now, the next uh, picture is from the Sydney University Regiment Facebook page, and they uploaded it on December 2022. When it's actually from, I'm not too sure, but it is from 2022, I understand. And you've got all three there. On the left, you've got uh, Paul Brereton, the N National Anti-Corruption Commissioner. In the middle, you've got uh, Governor General David Hurley. And also in the middle, next to him, is uh, Catherine Campbell. So that was uploaded in December 2022 on the Sydney University Regiment website, and it's only from last year. So once again, they're socialising on a regular basis, and so they obviously know each other well. Now, the next picture is from the 5th Brigade, Australian Army, 2016, it was uploaded. So what year it's exactly from, I'm not too sure. I think it is from 2016. You've got Catherine Campbell and David Hurley. Now, this next picture is also from the 5th Brigade, uh, Australian Army Facebook page. And it's actually uploaded on 2016, but it's a picture from 2008. And you've got all three there. You've got the Governor General, David Hurley, who was then uh, Lieutenant General David Hurley in the Australian Army. He's a former Chief of the Australian Defence Force, David Hurley is, from, I think, 2011 to 2014 when he retired. And that picture was uploaded in 2016 when he was the Governor General of uh, New South Wales. And in the middle there is uh, none other than Paul Burton the National Anti-Corruption Commissioner, Commissioner. And beside them is none other than Catherine Campbell. So it raises a question, has Catherine Campbell been referred to the National Anti-Corruption Commission for criminal charges, say for perjury at the uh, Royal Commission? She was clearly perjuring herself, ducking and weaving, lying and deceiving. Or she might have been recommended for criminal investigation to the Director of Public Prosecutions. We don't know what's happened because they kept that in secret for whatever reason. And there's no legal basis to keep it secret. Uh, Catherine Holmes, the Commissioner of the Robo-Debt Royal Commission, shouldn't have done that, and she knows it. The claim that it might somehow impact on a fair trial for the people she recommended criminal charges against is bullshit. The New South Wales Anti-Corruption Commission names the people all the time, the names of people they're going to be referring to the 
Director of Public Prosecution for Criminal Charges, and it's never had a case where that has impacted on their uh, ability to get a fair trial. People like former New South Wales Minister or former New South Wales MP Eddie Abid has been charged and sent to jail, and he's in jail now, I understand, and him being named as a person who's going to be have criminal charges recommended against him had no impact on him or his criminal charges. So for Catherine Holmes to say she's concerned it might have somehow have an impact on their ability to get a fair trial is bullshit. And it's led to us being in a position where we have to try and guess if certain people have had criminal charges recommended against them and if they have, what impact does it have on the National Anti-Corruption Commission as far as uh, them being perceived to be have a certain bias for example, Commissioner Paul Burton being friends with Catherine Campbell and with people continuing to investigate the $18 million fraud the Governor-General is involved in, David Hurley, has that been recommended to the National Anti-Corruption Commission? And what about David Hurley's friendship with Paul Burton? Has that impacted on the National Anti-Corruption Commission and their eagerness to investigate? Now, I'll publish you an article on this matter on my website, Kangaroo Court of Australia. So uh, if you're not a subscriber, go to my website now and sign up for the free email subscription. You get an email every time I publish a new article. And if you're watching on YouTube, please hit the like and subscribe and notification button. And I'll put a link below this video on YouTube to two of the articles, the most recent one on Catherine Campbell and also one on Governor General David Hurley and the $18 million fraud. So you can read more about that. In Kangaroo Court of Australia's independent media, I'm 100% crowdfunded from viewers like yourself. So please support my Patreon account. I currently have 282 patrons donating $1,740 a month. You can donate any amount, $3, $5, 10 15 20 30 40 50 whatever suits your budget. It all helps out in a big way. So please support that. And please share this video on Facebook and Twitter, etc. Thank you for your time and have a good day.